What's going on, everybody? This is Matt Das Fitness, and if four out of five people suffer from diarrhea, does that mean that one of them enjoys it? Now, I've made a quick video to talk about injuries, um, their relation to you know sport and training, and whether you should try to push through them. Um, now, before I start, just to let you know, I'm a qualified sports therapist. Right, I've got a degree in sports therapy, but I want to like come at this from a bit more of a kind of a bit more of a basic kind of standpoint because I think sometimes if you um, if you are um, knowledgeable about like anatomy and physiology sometimes that can be a bad thing um, because it's kind of you know again without wanting to sound like a moron it's kind of a case of what you don't know can't hurt you and that does apply quite a lot so I'll give you an example when I used to compete as a triple jumper um, when you're triple jumping, you are constantly managing small injuries. A lot of the time, success is down to who can best manage their injuries. You always have you know, shin issues and ankle problems and stuff because of the impact, and that is unavoidable. You, know, you can manage it as, as kind of best as you can. You can get lucky. You can obviously do the, you know, the foundation work to, to, get, to make your joint stronger so you can withstand more. But when it comes down to it, your body is not used to that kind of impact. And as much as you try, you are never going to be completely able to absorb it because it's not a natural, it's not a natural thing to do. Um, and so my point is, I I was getting you know fairly regular treatment, I get treatment kind of once a month. Um, I wasn't getting a great deal of scans, MRI scans and stuff. Um, and although I you know I'd get the occasional bit of ankle pain or knee pain um, and I would be icing and taking ibuprofen quite regularly, I was always okay. I had about four a run of about four years where I was competing regularly, training every single day, you know, jumping and lifting really, really frequently. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was squatting three times a week. I was jumping three times a week, um, and I was okay. I got through all of it, and I felt really, really good. Now I know full well that had I gone to see you know like a specialist and I'd had all kinds of um, MRI scans, they would have probably said to me, you know, being um, ear on the side of caution, they say, right, you know, you've got this issue with your back, you have this issue with your knee, this issue with your ankle, you shouldn't be jumping, you know, jumping is going to make it worse, don't jump. However, I didn't, you know, I, I, I did what I was doing, I carried on doing it, and I had quite a lot of success, it went really well for me, and all the pains I had, eventually, would, you know, they, they'd go away. You know, it's obviously certain things you have to manage, but a lot of the time, if you don't worry about it, and you are sensible with what you're doing, you build it up, you can push through it and you'd be amazed what your body can adapt to. Your body, you know, the human uh, physique is designed to adapt. That is the whole point of your existence. You know, you adapt to things um, and you move on and you get through things. You know, if you, um, if you spend a year picking up loads of stuff with your hands, eventually the skin in your hands is going to get thicker and you're going to withstand it. Whereas, you know, initially it's going to be cutting up all the time. You know, that is, how, that is an example of how you adapt. That is what the human body does. So, um, whereas, you know, I'm not saying, you know, go crazy, don't, you know, ignore pain, just push through it. You have to have an element of, you know, um, kind of foresight and being sensible. But at the same time, if you stop every single time you have a bit of pain or a bit of discomfort, you are going to find it very, very hard to make any progress whatsoever. Because as soon as you start making progress, you're going to get a bit of pain, you're going to stop, and you're going to go back to scratch again. Um, so, you know, the whole principle of progressive overload to get stronger, to get better, is that you need to push your body, you need to push your boundaries, you know, to, you know, you need to get to new places. If you want to lift a heavier weight, you've got to try lifting that heavier weight. It might feel uncomfortable, but unless you do that, you're never going to get to that point, okay? So what I'm saying is, if you do have, you know, particular aches and pains, if you know, you know, I mean, if you have something, I'll give you an example, um, I had a problem with a, with a ligament in my ankle, okay? I had this problem for about probably seven or eight months. Um, initially, I... Uh, every time I tried to jump, it was hurting, it would get progressively worse. Um, and so I thought, you know what, this is stupid, I'm going to rest. So I had about three weeks where I didn't jump, just did my weights and my sprinting. And my ankle felt great by the end of it, it was absolutely fine, no pain whatsoever. Went back to jumping, I gradually built it up, the pain came back and it was exactly the same. And I thought, wait a minute, you know, I've, I've rested, I've spent loads of time with that jumping, I've given it plenty of time to rest, it felt brilliant, and now it's broken down again. Now. That was obviously because of a little bit of a technical, you know, the way I was kind of landing wasn't great, um, and it was putting pressure on my, um, on the, yeah, the, the, the lateral side of my ankle. Um, so what I did was I thought, right, you know, I started jumping again, um, the pain was there, 
I didn't go crazy, I didn't just you know jump, 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 but what I did is I kept jumping at a low level, so the pain was there, but it didn't get massively worse, it was just kind of there, it was just like an ache the whole time. And what I found was after a few weeks of that pain, it started to ease off, okay, and after a couple more weeks, it was almost gone, and after like six weeks or so, I had no ankle pain whatsoever. Obviously, you know, I was treating it, I was icing it this time, I was taking anti-inflammatories, not all the time, but I was taking quite a few, probably more than I should have done. But um, I was able to push through that and eventually my body adapted. It got used to the stress and to the load and it adapted. It made the, it made the structure stronger and I was able to continue training. Like I said, you know, initially I tried resting, I tried doing the right things and the pain, the pain came back again. That's because my body wasn't given the, you know, the stimulus, the impetus to, um, to adapt. Uh, again, I'll give you the example of um, if you, you know, my, uh, my grandma suffers from arthritis and she spends a lot of time essentially sitting down because it hurts her to get up and to walk around and stuff, okay? Now, it's kind of a vicious cycle because if you spend all your time sitting down and lying down, your body has no reason. You know, why is your body going to want to try and heal and get stronger? It doesn't need to because it's not being put under any stress whatsoever, you know? If you are getting up and you're moving around, your body is being told, your brain's being sent the signals that actually, I need to be flexible, I need to be sure, I need to be able to move around to go upstairs and whatever, and so eventually it will adapt, you know, it's not going to be, it might be uncomfortable, it might hurt, and you might get issues along the way, but essentially, if you want to be able to do something, you've got to do it, otherwise your body is looking for any chance just to, you know, either it's going to adapt to something, or it's going to want to do nothing, if you sit around doing nothing, your body will adapt to doing nothing, and that's how your body, yeah, that's what's going to happen, you're, you're going to, you're going to, regress very very quickly you know it's very takes a long time to build up and but you can lose those gains very very quickly okay i'm sorry i'm waffling on a little bit here i have a tendency just to talk aimlessly for hours on end um i'll give you another example very quickly my sister uh she she trains every day uh she does like body combat all that kind of stuff. i mean she's in great shape she's very strong um she does a lot of physical exertion now recently she had um and actually she hurt her knee, she, it was only minor, um, they had a, she had a scan on her knee just to check that the, the structures were fine, um, and the scan came back, and she, uh, the scan basically said that there was no acute damage, so the, the accident she had 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 done no damage to her knee whatsoever. However, what the scan showed was, she had no anterior cruciate ligament. So, in your knee there are four big ligaments that hold your knee together, okay? And one of them was completely missing. So the posterior ligament had got a lot thicker, um, which obviously takes, you know, what's basically happening there is that the, in the absence of the, of the, um, the ligament at the front, the, the rear one had got a lot thicker and stronger to take, you know, obviously take the load and stuff. Um, and, you know, the bizarre thing is that she's absolutely fine. I mean, the fact that the, that, that posterior ligament was thicker, you know, that's obviously taken a few years for that to happen, possibly, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Um, so that means for that period of time, she has had no anterior cruciate ligament in her knee, right? Now, you can go and research this, I mean that is pretty, I mean I personally have never come across that, okay, so that is someone training, training hard every single day, you know, running around, lifting weights, all that kind of stuff, um, doing classes and stuff, with essentially a quarter of her knee missing, and she had, you know, she, she would get no discomfort, she would have no pain, the knee felt perfectly stable. Now, had she had a scan any point over the last few years, the doctor would have said to her, there is no way you should be doing anything. You know, they might take her in for surgery to, to repair it, or um, they might, you know, put in a cast or whatever, but they would say there is no way you should be training because that is dangerous, it's unstable, yada, yada, yada. Now, obviously I am not advocating that, you know, if you break something or you tear something, you go out and forget about it because that's stupid, okay? Obviously you don't, you don't do that. However, the point I'm making is, if you don't know about something, um, you will be amazed at what your body can adapt to. Yeah, so she had a quarter of her knee missing, but uh, the structures, the other structures, so the posterior, the posterior cruciate ligament adapted, got thicker, and she was able to carry on with her life as normal without even realizing it was damaged, which is pretty astounding. Like I said, I mean, I've never come across that. It's pretty astounding, but it just shows you that, like I said, your body will adapt. You will be amazed at the kind of, you know, the strain and the stress your body can take and what your body can adapt to. Um, so just bear that in mind. If you get, you know, you get, you know, you get like ligaments or, or kind of slight, you know, tendonitis. You get certain issues. Again, obviously, certain things, certain structures aren't going to heal unless they're given rest. However, in lots and lots of scenarios, it is a case of you need to kind of push through. You need to to manage it. So you need to modify your training around it or build up your training gradually. But without that stimulus at all, it's not going to heal. All that's going to happen is the injury might feel better. Okay 
for a while, you go back to training and it's going to start hurting again. So you need to address the issue. You know, if there's any kind of technical issue there, try and address that. But at the same time, it needs to be stressed somewhat. Otherwise, it's not getting that stimulus to heal. Um, and it's never going to be the way you want it to be. You know, to, in order to, to get stronger and to feel good, you need to put you, the different structures you have under um, pressure, under stress, in order for that scenario to arise. Okay, I hope that made sense, guys. I did kind of waffle again. I apologise for that. Um, I do have loads of things made, and I just try and speak everything at once, and sometimes it doesn't make any sense. But hope you enjoyed the video. Hope, hope it made sense. Um, put your thoughts in the comment section. If you agree with me, if you have any experience of you know pushing through injuries or whatever, put it in the comment section. Let me know. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I will see you tomorrow.